So if you've got a wedding to go to this year and you just don't want to do the registry thing again, why not bake the bride and groom a wedding cake? It's not as impossible as you think. So we're about ready to get started with our wedding cake. I'm standing here with Shannon Pridgen, who is the owner of Heavenly Crumbs. She's going to make the icing and ice the cake for us. And Shannon's friend Shelly Everett is the owner of a catering company called Gourmet Angel. And she is going to do us the honor of baking the cake. We are making my Aunt Estelle Betty's Simply Lemon Cake. That sounds That's what glorious. she calls it. We're going to sift three cups of all-purpose flour. And now we're going to put in one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. One teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. Okay, excellent. And one tablespoon of baking powder. Of baking powder. All right, okay, so now I'm just gonna sift it, just like she would. What we have to do in our mixer here yeah. is put in one cup of unsalted butter, which is approximately two sticks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just put it in. Do you wanna grab for me two cups of sugar? Surely. So we'll go ahead and incorporate that in. Pour it right in. Go ahead. All right, so we're gonna have to keep this going for about five minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and Jean is gonna lightly whisk the eggs for me. I am? You are. So now we have our lightly whisked eggs in which we're going to slowly start to incorporate into our butter and our sugar mixture. Gently do this. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be one and one fourth cup. We have to incorporate a little bit of the flour mixture that we put together earlier and then a little bit of buttermilk, and then a little bit of flour, and then a little bit of buttermilk until we've absorbed everything into our batter here. She was very specific about saying that we have to start with flour and end with flour. Ah, okay. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. All right. Put it in. Put that right in. And we need one and one half teaspoon of pure lemon extract. I'd use a fourth of a teaspoon. A fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to let this go for about five minutes. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use pan coating spray. All you have to do is evenly distribute the batter into the baking pans now. Preheated the oven to 350 degrees. 350. 350. Slide them right into the center. So I have conveniently replaced Shelly with Shannon. Shannon is going to make um, some buttercream icing. I'm going to take the butter, and I'm not really giving it a measurement. I left it out so that it's soft, and I'm going to whip that. Now I'll slowly add confectionery sugar okay. to this. And to give it flavoring, I'll have vanilla. Now icing sometimes get a bad rap because they're sweet. What the vanilla will do is give me a little flavor, and the salt, what that does is cut down on the sweetness, okay. and it actually enhances the vanilla. Yeah. Take your fingers, just a pinch. Oh, you want an actual pinch. Yeah, just a pinch. That's really all you need. Now, to make your icing fluffy, you don't want it heavy, what we can do is just add a little milk. Is that whole milk? Yeah, if you have cream, cream is actually um, going to give you a richer flavor because cream has more fat. Yeah. Okay, we're at the point where we're making the filling. We've made the icing. I've separated some of the icing, just enough to fill the, the cake. Mm -hmm. And this is a passion fruit puree. And I'm gonna add it. Now I'm going to make sure it's fully incorporated. I'm looking at the texture. You don't wanna add too much. Wow, they look great. That looks terrific. Nicely browned. So I cut the cake yeah. in half. Right. Right? So I have a nice, even two, two layers. Two layers. Now, what I want to do also is to even the top. To, to do that, I just go back and forth. You want to use a serrated knife, right. a bread knife, a so knife grab with onto teeth. The... And now I have a pretty even top. What you do need when you make a cake is a cake circle. This is to support your cake. You're gonna have to have something underneath, which okay. is important that that has to be said. When you add a frosting filling icing, 
My spatula is always on the icing, it's never on the cake. What I'll do is I'll place my cake on top. Sometimes I'll invert it because what I want is the flattest right. side right. on the very to top. Perfect and beautiful. What I'll get do is I'll get rid of the uh, excess filling. I'm gonna put a lot of icing on this and it's gonna seem like a bit much, but always remember, your spatula must always touch the frosting. And why is that important? Is it because when your spatula touches the cake, then you start to make holes in the cake? No, you start to pick up crumbs. Ah. Now I'm really using the turntable. I'm moving that around because I want a nice, smooth icing. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go across the top. I'm holding the spatula straight. Like I'm trying that. to get those nice perpendicular edges. But you're only taking off the excess. You're not really taking off any of the top. This is the most challenging part, believe it or not. Now you got to get not. the corners, right? The corners and all these oh, uneven spots. The yeah. So what you do is just add a little extra. And Let's then say. I'll come back and I'll pry even pressure. You don't want that extra icing sort of interfering with your perfect edge. And what I'm doing is I'm going across and then I'll pull away. So from here, what I'll do is Phew. I'll put this in the refrigerator yeah. and let the, the icing harden, harden okay. and then I'll put the next tier on top of it. Sounds good to me. All right. All your cakes need to be on a, a cardboard a cake circle. I'm cutting off the remainder of the circle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my straws where the cake is going to be and I'll cut that. I'll use straws because they're readily available okay. and they're, they're going to support the cake. Instead of the cake resting ah, on the other, cake. the other cake, it'll rest on the straws. Notice I frosted it first because you need that straw to extend just where the frosting ends. Now I need to find the middle. So Hmm. I feel it's just about there, and oh. I'll place it here. On it goes. Uh-huh, and I use my spatula to adjust it. I'll have my dowel, I'll make a point because it needs to go through the cardboard. So you need to sharpen it. And yeah, I'll sharpen it, and I'll estimate where the top is. I'll go, say, a little below the top. Okay. Right? And then I'll cut the dowel. Place this in the center. Yeah. Now, what are you going through right now? I'm board? going through the board. The board, okay. Something is going to cover that, right? A flower, a decoration, yeah. or whatever that is. So, what I like to do is Fun. I like to mix it on the table because it comes together very quickly. You must apply pressure because you need to incorporate that color. I'll add a little more frosting. And what I don't like are um, flowers that are just one single color. It's kind of flat. Mm. So I won't mix it totally. I'll have a little of the white. And what you can do, you'll just add another color. So I'll add a little red. Oh, so you like to kind of make little shades. Because they're right. very close, those colors. Right, but this will look beautiful yeah, yeah. with one flower. It's a, called a number five because I want a, a tip that's not too big, something that's elegant, but large enough to cover what I'm using. The, the other key to this is... Oh, you're covering up the cardboard now. Right. Notice I'm doing this first as opposed to the flowers. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go around and I wow. pipe and then I pull. So I add pressure and then pull, squeeze, pull, squeeze, pull. Now I'm going to use a rose tip, which is called a 104. The okay. number is written on the side. Okay. I'm going to lay this on the side only. Okay. Just on the side. It's called stripe in the bag. Okay. I now it. I'll put this because I want that color. So what I'm doing now is I'm squeezing the air out. Yeah. This is yeah. great because this is a clear bag and you can see what's going on. And I added just that was what was in there. That's my little base. And I'm going to squeeze in a circular fashion. Now I'm making my petals. Wow. 
it's really about pressure and it's about positioning your bag. So, and what I'll do is I'll put other flowers around. And again, you see the different, the variation in color. It looks more like nature uh -huh, as opposed uh -huh. to just a flat pink or red or blue, you know. Of course, you've got the red on top, so the red is the one that sort of like shows up mm -hmm. on the edge. Wow, so here we are. Shannon just made this beautiful wedding cake. Thank you, both of you, Shelly, Thank Shannon. You. Thanks so much. Thank and you. it's about to go in the refrigerator because we can't have that collapse. And this is one of the few times that I don't get to taste it, but I'm sure it's delicious. Thank right. you so much. You're welcome.